pan around the table. There, Shay, with that wonderful smile. And Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. And Kristen. Hi, Christine. There she is. And way over here is Aaron. Uh, nice to see you, Aaron. All you video viewers, look at those two lovely ladies here from Fayetteville. And their mom. And Aaron. And his dad. And May. Hi, May. Hi Matthew. Hi Matthew. Hi Matthew. How you doing? <laughs> okay, we're recording here with a cheers. Cheers, Matt. Cheers. Happy. That's cheers. That's right. Cheers with Daddy. As you can see, the <clears throat> the Beaver Lake extends for miles and miles here in the Ozarks of Northwest Arkansas, providing a major recreation area camping, boating, fishing, you name it. And such pristine, uh, almost uh, virginal forests and, and uh, the lake itself, uh, which serves as a reservoir for this area. But as I say, which is a major recreational site for the folks who are lucky enough to be able to enjoy it. Here we're looking west towards Eureka Springs where we are about to uh, embark and see that famous town where the uh, Passion Play is presented each year. Now look out just a little bit to your left. To my left? And now to your right. To your right. I'm going. <laughs> you realize we're hearing all this. We're picking all this up on our, on our sound system here as May looks out over oh, this look, there's another little one jutting out there with, over this beautiful of, yeah, recreation yeah. area here at Beaver Lake in northwest Arkansas. May? May? Hi there. I saw a sailboat earlier. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Gee, that looks great. Oh. Well, here. Oh, no, you can give us still the corner, May. Come in here. Okay. You can look at me and I'll look at you. That's great. Come on, Aaron, get in on this with us. Awesome. Say on. cheese. Hamburger. And where are we now? This is... Well, we're at Beaver Lake, overlooking the premier recreation area in northwest Arkansas, where all the wideners come frequently to boat, <laughs> fish, to eat. Camp. And to camp. They're pretty camp. They're pretty camp. Right. And now, May, right over your right shoulder, out that way, you should be able to see the Christ of the Ozarks. That high mountain in the background? One of the ugliest statues uh, anywhere. I can't see it. But. <laughs> We're going there. In just a few uh, hours, we'll be there. That's right. At Eureka Springs. Can we okay. see Pea Ridge from here or no? Uh, no. And here we are entering the grounds of the Thorn Crown Castle. Designed, say, by whom? Faye Jones. Faye Jones, thank you, yes. And down this path, you'll find a Thorn Crown Castle. And now we're approaching the front of the Thorn Crown Chapel. As you can see, this is what is known as Ozark architecture, uh, with the cross beams. And the person who designed this was a student of Frank Lloyd Wright. Let's go closer and see what uh, is on the inside. Here we are, coming closer and closer to the Thorn Crown Chapel. And as you can see from the uh, open uh, structure, it is it's o Ozark architecture, all right. And the sign tells you the, uh, uh, that you're to maintain quiet while you're inside. Let's go on inside now.
very impressive open structure. As you can see, crossed beams holding up the open glass sidings that encompass this beautiful throne castle shop. We're now at, uh, at St. Elizabeth Church in Eureka Springs. And there go May and Gary on a tour of exploration. See you later. As you can see here at the entrance are the 14 stations of the cross uh, leading down into this chapel. And there go Glenn or uh, Gary and May into the church. We'll walk slowly down here by the 14 stations of the cross. I'm not sure I can do this without jiggling the camera too much, but we'll try. It's in the nature of an experiment. As we get down towards the uh, end of this beautiful reproduction of the 14 stations of the cross. And now we're looking down into a courtyard where there's a representation of the Christ child with Mary and then this uh, beautiful domed chapel that you see in front of you here. Directly across from the beginning of the 14 Stations of the Cross. And here we come upon a garden right at the entrance to the church and with the lovely flowers and statues. And if you look across the, at the hill, across the way, you'll see the, the famous statue of Christ on the cross which stands atop the hills here in Eureka Springs and which is the center point for the passion play that's presented here every summer uh, by the townspeople of Eureka Springs. And as you can see then, here is the entrance to St. Elizabeth's Church itself a, a really uh, surprising edifice to find here out in the middle of northwest Arkansas. Well, why isn't there? Now we're recording in front of the Crescent Springs. Well, it's actually it's the Crescent Hotel, as you can see. And Gary and, and May are uh, avidly reading this sign. You can see the stairs going up to the hotel. And this hotel was built in 1889, it looks like. And as you can see, as you look up the hill, it's quite a structure. Overlooking St. Elizabeth's Church. In historic, you read just inside the hotel here. You'll notice that they're doing fashion shots for the Arkansas Gazette. And I must say that everyone looks fashionable. Here we go. This has got to be one of the most fascinating houses in Eureka Springs. It's called uh, Rosalie's. It's open to tourists, but just look at the, at the grill work and the, the uh, ornate fixtures of, of this beautiful home, which is a home, by the way, even though it's open to tourists. It is a home, Rosalie's, and, and the beautiful gardens outside here in Eureka Springs. What a town. We go now we now we're recording at the studio of Susan Morrison who uh, may come on it doesn't go any good to see the back of your head you gads 
Well, at least you can do is be amenable to it, you know. I mean, you don't have to turn around. I haven't started there. Now we're recording in the middle of Eureka Springs, Arkansas. And if you look across the street, video viewers, there is the New Orleans Hotel, famous for the fact that the Wideners stayed here in 1978. Can you believe that? Right there in the New Orleans Hotel. Coming up by the hotel. You see a familiar sight here in Eureka Springs. Hi, guys. Hey, man. There it goes, up the hill. Followed by the motor scooter. What happened? If there's one thing they have here in Eureka Springs, it's plenty of trolleys. Look at this one across the street as soon as these cars go by. In fact, I'll, I, think he's, I think he's about ready to begin. Yeah, here he comes. He's moving that trolley right down the street here. And he's going to go right past us. Ah, uh, look at that. Shades of old. Of the old country. Little Switzerland here, Eureka Springs. All sorts of shops. Handicrafts, uh, restaurants, uh, you can see across the street, up the street. Just a fascinating grouping of different K. Okay, there goes May. Oh, she's shopping again. And what a place to shop. There must be every sort of shop in the world here. That's all right, folks. Come right ahead. Don't let the camera stop you. There she goes, down the street, right there at another window. Oh, looks like she's at the Secret Garden. Let's go down and join her. Here, as you can see, the main drag. Well, actually, there are two drags here, one that goes off to the right and one off to the left of the Flatiron Building here in Eureka Springs. This is one of the famous landmarks in this town. And as you can see up here on the left, there's going to be a festival. I'm um, not sure you can read that, so I'll say uh, it's a jazz festival it's going to be held here in Eureka Springs. Now, look who we have coming up the sidewalk here in Eureka Springs. I, it looks like the Widener family is returning from their tour. Oh, start walking, kids. Downtown Fayetteville, and guess where these, the Wideners have arrived at? They're heading up to the stairs to the famous post office restaurant. Can you believe that? Look at that. Hi there, Wideners. Uh, let me zoom in on you. Wonderful. And zoom out. And then as we look down at the post office one more time, we'll head down the street to their left. As we go on, that's it, Shay. You know you're left from the right. <laughs> heading down the street here in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Now we just turned the corner onto, what street is this, Gary? That's a good question, this is Lock Street. This is Lawton Street. Lock. 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 Lock Street, and here we are in front of the, or rather to the side of the uh, post office cafe, and if you look down the street a little bit here, look at these beautiful flowers. May, can you identify these flowers? The ones that the camera is pointing at, way down the end down here. They look like flocks. They're flocks. White. Ladies and gentlemen, our expert uh, gardener says they are flocks. And the ones in the center, May? What are these ones, the red and red, red ones in the center? I don't know why they broke from the bowl. Yeah. Well, cana lilies. Cana lilies. Our expert says cana lilies. There they are. And then on the lowest track, you have... All three of you. Look who's, uh, look who's on that, uh, May. You're not getting in. Senator Fulbright. If you've ever been on a scholarship, you'll know all about Senator Fulbright. Uh, he's the guy that sent Pete Dawkins to, uh, to Oxford, as a matter of fact, on a... Oh, I'm sorry, that was a Rhodes scholarship, wasn't it? <laughs> Where do the Fulbright scholars go, Gary? University of Arkansas? Uh, they go overseas. They go they, overseas somewhere. They do go overseas. 
Well, thank you, Bill. Senator Bill, that was nice of you to send some of our best qualified students overseas. And thank you, Gary, for that information. Again, you can uh, see the, the Widener family wending its way through this beautiful flower garden just outside the post office restaurant. Look at those flowers down, up and down this uh, walk. Really beautiful. Uh, I see young Gary, uh, Glenn, uh, Gary Widener has uh, decided to cool it for a bit. And so is Shay. And where did May go? Oh, May's over with the flowers. Hi, May. Cat's whiskers. Cat's whiskers? It looks like the cat's me out of me, May. And here they come. Gary, May, and Shay. <laughs> That building you see in the background, that big tall building, that, that the one that Gary is pointing at right now, houses the offices of? Blackwood Martin and Associates. Blackwood Martin and Associates. Advertising and, uh, Inc. Pardon? Advertising Inc. Advertising Inc., as Gary said. <laughs> and Gary is their creative director. And I guess from what Gary says, they're also negotiating to buy this uh, brick building right next to it, but right now they're up there in that glass structure at the end of the street. Uh, they have lots of court cases here. You can see the courthouse here in the background, uh, and it says that it's, uh, well, it keeps the right time.